All right, and to cap this trip off, it looks like I caught me a little largemouth bass. Very long and thin. The colors are really pretty here, though. A lot of green. I like that. All right, there you go. Largemouth. Let's put them back. Wiggled out of my hand. There he goes. All right, everybody, hello. Welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Uh, today, we're in a brand new spot. This is uh, Mar Marshall, Marshall Steam Station. Marshall Steam Station, uh, North Carolina, as usual. And uh, we are here uh, trying to get on some hybrid bass and or stripers. I've never caught a striper before. I would like this to be my first time. A uh, little interesting note from uh, from being here last night. Uh, my uh, wife over there caught herself her first two pound crappie. This fish is enormous. This is the biggest crappie I've ever seen. Yeah, he's probably two pounds. Wow. It That's fought like a bass. Easily bigger than anyone I've ever caught. It's enormous. <laughs> oh. All right. That good, was awesome. Good start to a trip, I'd say. Heck yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, definitely a gold star for her and uh, an essential uh, part of the Crappy Fisherman's Award belt. <laughs> yeah, achievement unlocked. All right, so uh, using... Uh, my new bait caster here, which I believe I briefly mentioned in a, another video. And i um, trying to imitate the uh, some of the bait fish I saw here. So I got this little swim bait on. And we're going to see if I can uh, get on a striper. Uh, this, this particular area that we're in is uh, another warm water outflow. You can see the uh, steam from the power plant over there. And uh, the warm water is coming right at the end of this narrow channel here. Just just past uh, where Gail is down by the end. So that's... Uh, we're going to walk down there and shoot all around there if we don't catch anything here. But uh, for now, just enjoy the scenery and my attempt at catching my first striper with this. Oh man, I got a bite from something way out there. I don't know what. I don't know if it was a bass or a striper or what. <laughs> Encouraging. Probably one of those little bass, though. I assume any kind of ginormous fish would have had its jaws around this little thing. I need to get my hands on some of those soft plastic uh, swim baits that everyone's using. I thought you made that sound for a second. I can make some crazy sounds, but that's not one of them. I thought that was your reaction to what I said. I was like, it's like that was uncalled for. That's hurtful. <laughs> uncalled for. Mock me. <laughs> oh. We. I love it how all night I couldn't get this thing to friggin' cast right, and now that I can actually see what I'm doing, it's casting fine. Oh, there we go. All right. Got one. Set that damn hook. All right, no slack. Oh, it's fighting. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm recording. It's a striper. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right, video accomplished. That is what we like to see. I thought it felt kind of different. <laughs> hey, come here, buddy. You are the next star on the fish dimension. Oh, God, that is slick mud. Be careful. 
Now I'm stuck halfway up. Ugh, just get them away from the banks so that I don't lose my very first striper. Or uh, this is, um, yeah, I believe this is actually a wiper, a hybrid uh, white bass slash striped bass. But that's okay because I've never been on any of the three. Well, uh, any of the two. Either of the two. All right. Let's take a look. All right. Nice fish. Yeah, beautiful fish. God, the, the colors of the fish of this lake are really good. This guy's got little, like, flecks and speckles of blue and green in him. He's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Gorgeous. Not as much as I love it. <laughs> and, uh, oh, wow, they kind of wiggle randomly. Um, yeah, so uh, I believe this also counts as... Uh, the, 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 uh, God, I'm cutting that babbling mess out. Um, this, this, uh, this here is, uh, what you would call a true bass, you know? <laughs> I guess we're gonna take some pictures for, uh, for Instagram and whatnot, and maybe the, maybe the fish app, or whatever it is, and, uh, let this guy go back, because, uh, I never eat the first new species I catch. Oh, and by the way, this is the first time I've been on a new species since smallmouth bass at, uh, at my little home creek. So I finally get to write a new, uh, new species on the list. And I couldn't be happier. All right, so now I just have to get down this steep ass ledge without killing myself. And we can put this amazing fish back in the water. It's a... Uh, Picture. Yeah, it's it's a different kind of fight than uh, than than a largemouth bass. Uh, he he they they try to bolt. They try to take off randomly like catfish do. And for a second there, you think, uh oh, my line's in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah, the, the lines are kind of broken. They're not perfectly straight. So this is a hybrid white bass uh, striped bass. All right. All right. All right. Wow video accomplished I can't believe it okay well yeah he's ready to go yeah. perfect so good. <laughs> congratulations uh, and show him what you were using oh yeah 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 so we uh, we heard from several people online and several people that we met fishing here that what you want to have is a paddle tail swim bait uh, soft plastic bait of some kind what the hell did I do with my rod my other rod. Oh, your other rod. It's, I think you laid it down there. Oh, it's, it's, it's up in the road. <laughs> yep, not gonna make that mistake again. Boy, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be simultaneously a triumphant and very bumbling <laughs> addition to the fish dimension. I can't talk, I can't walk. It's been hours since I slept, I'm tired. Okay. All right, so uh, I, I haven't really done a proper introduction of this of this thing on the channel yet. This is um, my uh, cat, new Cast King Assassin. Uh, got it because it's very lightweight, and you know I wanted something that wasn't going to hurt my back all day while I'm casting it. And to further the lightweightedness, I've got it just on a little $12 Shakespeare Reverb, which is one of the shittier uh, kinds of rods that you can pick up from from Walmart. It's it's I think it's like among the cheapest ones possible. They come with a little uh, spin caster attached to them, and I throw that hunk of junk away, and I put a proper reel on it. And uh, it's a 6-1 gear ratio. I really like it so far, and I just used it to uh, catch my first wiper. This is what the fish bit. So at uh, Marshall, Marshall Steam Station here, this is what we heard from everybody to use is paddle tail swim baits. And they just swim through the middle of the water column. I was just reeling it back almost, uh, you know, very sluggishly, very slowly. And, uh, you know, it looks just like a shad. So, uh, of course, uh, the wiper bit it. And uh, I did a nice, strong hook set out of nowhere, as you, as you saw just a moment ago. Oh, God. Wind is messing up the audio. Sorry. Um, 
And, uh, you know, I ideally, uh, apparently, uh, everyone tells me you want a white paddle tail swim bait. This, when I bought it, was white, but other lures that I had in my tackle box melted and bled into it, and now it is kind of a strange uh, pink color. But, apparently, the fish liked that. <laughs> And uh, if you ever take a good look at uh, Gizzard Shad, uh, you can see that uh, they do have a bit of a red shine to them too. So yeah, so that's the setup. And uh, oh yeah, I should also mention that uh, this crappy Shakespeare reverb here, this was the very first rod that I ever owned. It was the first one we picked up the first day that my wife said, hey, I want to show you how to go fishing. And we went and I fell in love with it instantly. Uh, it is a lucky rod for me. I've caught, uh, I caught all my original PBs on this, uh, this little reverb here. And it is still in action today, and now it's helping me uh, catch bigger and better fish without getting tired and hurting my back. All right, so I think I've yammered on for quite enough. Uh, let's do some more casting. All right, and we're back, and I am still like stoked from what just happened. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed uh, a trend on the channel here, and that is that other fishermen um, with the sole exception of my wife, are never around to see me do something cool. Like we just had a bunch of guys walk by, you saw that uh, that nice dude that we were talking to there, and he was, uh, you know, pretty, pretty much calling it quits for the day, and uh, you know, you sort of got the sense that he was walking away like, all right, you know, no catch is gonna be made today. And he's like, good luck folks, don't catch them all, he said before he left. And uh, as soon as he was out of earshot and eye shot, uh, I caught, uh, you know exactly what we were talking about not being able to catch so uh, I never get to do anything cool in front of other fishermen <laughs> except for my wife but I'm okay with that because I get to record it and show it to you guys on the channel and one day when I'm on trial you guys can tell everybody hey you know he caught those fish nice hey hey did you do it Oh yeah. All right, get that get that little sucker behind you there. We'll have to check and see if he's uh, a spot or not. Hey, spit up a shad. He did, didn't he? Right there. Oh, he's dead. All right, little large mouth. All right, congrats, babe. Now oh, there he goes. <laughs> I got him. I got him on film pretty good. Okay. Well. <laughs> You Very saw good. it. She caught Fast it. Fast release. <laughs> I like to throw them back as soon as I catch them. Yeah, that's uh, the two rules of the of the the uh, the fish dimension: bruise them, lose them. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is our release style. Hey, all right. What do you got? All right. Nice largey nice large again. This turned in to an awesome day. He spit up a shad. All right, so. This time. He liked yeah. that. All right. That's a spot. You think so? I think. Uh, it's attached. Check the mouth. Let's see. What do you think? It is, I don't, I wouldn't say that's going past the eye. It's going, uh, it's level with it. That might be a spot. I think it is. Oh well, if anybody knows, you can uh, correct us or not. But that that is either a largemouth bass or uh, or a spotted bass. Let's um, look at the mouth. I'm kind of thinking it's a spot actually. You close it all the way. It is not definitely not going past the eye. So yeah, that's a spotted bass. I believe so. Beautiful. Nice little fish. That's great. Look at that gorgeous fish. Yeah, good job, babe. Thank you. Yeah, nice and all, all, also with spotted bass. There's not a deep valley in between the uh, front and back dorsal. You can see they're they're pretty solidly connected there. Yep. Now that's I find that the harder of the two ways to tell. But this part of the mouth here, if it goes past the eye, you got a largey. If it doesn't go past the eye, you got a spot. So I'm calling that a spot. I believe it is. Oh yeah, and also uh, some of the black marks ought to go on the belly too. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, I just. I got to keep pointing out, I love the coloration of the fish at this, uh, you know, you can really tell that we're at a healthier system because these fish just have great color. That means they're getting enough oxygen. You can see green here, bronze here, it's 
just just gorgeous fish. Lovely. We'll put him back. I couldn't uh, couldn't imagine a better place to to be getting on these uh, these ex excellent fish. Well, I, I figured he was in the spot because he fought harder. Okay. I knew, I knew it was a small fish, but he he fought like twice as hard. Minnow imitation. Ah, so th this is what my baby's using to to catch the basses. We have a curly tail minnow <laughs> with a crappy jig head. Yep. You got no it. Bobber. You got it sideways, sideways hooked. It's it's fun doing it with no well, bobber, he isn't it? messed it up. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. It was like this. Might actually work pretty well that way. Either way, really. He messed it up when he when he bit. But yeah, Gail is experimenting with uh, fish, fishing no bobber today, and how do you like it? I like it. Yeah. It's got me uh, several. Uh, you know, a couple uh -huh. nice sized bass and a very big crappie. Well, uh, a place like this where you have uh, shallow right here and then it's an immediate severe drop off and then you're in deep water, perfect place to not bother with a bobber. Yeah. All right, good job, babe. This this turned into a great video and yeah. uh, and here we were, We you know, we went out to get a bite to eat and we were debating whether or not to come back. Yeah. Look at all that would not have happened if we hadn't come back. <laughs> and so the last time Gail and I decided to go check out a hot hole, which is, you know, a, uh, a place with warm water outflow like this, uh, it was the very first video on our channel, and it was the most amazing night of fishing that we ever had, where we caught like a hundred crappy uh, in, in one night from the bank. So hot holes, you might say, have been good to us continue to be but uh the reason that uh you know it's it's not even the dead of winter yet and we're already seeking out a hot hole is because our home lake high rock that we normally fish is a filthy disgusting mess at the moment the water is pure chocolate milk unlike this water which has a minty fresh quality to it i'm petting it uh, you know the yadkin and PD River, which which feed feeds into High Rock Lake, has just been supplying it with a steady stream of human waste and mud from all over the state, and uh, yeah, it's in bad shape, and it uh, seems to be staying that way for for the foreseeable future. Hey, all right, she got one. I'm gonna go film that. Can I have fish? Him. Take a look at that pretty mouth. Well, he looks like he might be a spot. Yeah, he might be. It's, it's not, not, not going past the eye. A lot of spots in here. See the dorsal? Yeah. His is not quite as pronounced as the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they're pretty fish. They are. Look at that pretty green. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so nice. Yeah, they're way prettier than the ones at High Rock. It's very pretty fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Gorgeous. They fight nice too. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah, nice I've noticed that their um, their bodies tend to have a kind of a nice long form. A fishing story. Yeah, Ronnie Green. Okay. And, uh, he's on YouTube. He's actually uh, yeah, he's got stuff on YouTube. And he's got a he's got a Facebook page, and he's he's on NBC Sports. Okay. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, so he's on there and the, and World Fishing Network. Huh. Two channels he's on. All right, nice. Yeah, so uh, check him out. It's called we'll a fishing story. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. We'll look him up. Yep. Yeah, and uh. Had a show for about three years now. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll be doing a video about today and stuff. So uh, okay. yeah, if it's and the. If you want to look us up, you want to go up to Heiko Lake and fish. Yeah. 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 Okay, I will do that. Yep. Yep. So, I come up to Greensboro quite often. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah just drop me a comment on my channel and uh, okay. we'll we'll do it up. Okay. We'll take you there. Uh, give me the give me the it's it's the name of the channel again. The fifth dimension. Yep. Fish dimension. Okay. Just yeah, like dimension. Let, yeah. Got you right here. Like the fifth dimension except yep. fish. Except fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Danny. Nice to meet you, Danny. Oh that was a stupid attempt yeah, there. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and I'm here, give me the hand you're using to carry everything. <laughs>
What is this? Ooh. What is that? It's my new PB leaf. <laughs> That's the biggest leaf you've ever caught? Yeah. Oh. It's wonderful. What kind of leaf is that? Dead leaf. 